Let's look at the Primavera 100, our best-selling student violin. We launched the Primavera in 1995 and during that time it's evolved, taken on numerous editions. The current edition we think is not only loaded with features but really sets the benchmark for student violins. Let's have a look at the instrument in some detail. First impression on the case. Well the case is uh, it's a styrofoam case. Interesting point for you. Primavera, when we came out in uh, 1995, when it first came out, it was the first instrument to have a styrofoam case. That's pretty well standard nowadays. Looking at the case, well, it's got high-vis stripes and piping. Just a small safety feature. We know that, particularly in the winter, um, it's dusk, headlights and whatever, something that people asked for, so we provided it. The most important thing about the case, though, is the handles. One of the things that teachers said to us very early on is that handles quite often fall off styrofoam cases. So by having the handle stitched on rather than screwed in, it gives a huge amount of, of protection and, uh, and all the stresses are transferred to the outside of the case rather than to a couple of screws may or may not be bolted into, uh, into the polystyrene. Open the case up, two bow holders, and uh, plenty of room for a shoulder rest around the neck. Looking at the bow, it's, it's a hardwood stick with, um, with an ebony frog, half mounted, straight, got some tension, really a very good student bow. Looking at the instrument, well first impression, we've got a really nice chestnut brown varnish, quality ebony pegs which we we're talking about. This is one of the things that teachers really stressed about was that softwood pegs or low grade just slip they don't there's no resistance and they just don't they don't work properly by having decent ebony pegs pupils can tune and the instruments most importantly stay in tune between lessons non-ebony fingerboard on this edition decent primavera bridge correct curvature and the feet are fitted metal alloy tailpiece. This is pretty well standard nowadays. Another thing that you might be interested to know is once again when the Primavera first came out in 1995 we were the first to come with an alloy tailpiece. As things have improved, the quality of screws have improved, various things, really not a bad tailpiece at all. We know that the instruments really work. That's why we're very proud of the Primavera 100.